everybody, my name is Shawnee and today I'm really excited because I've been wanting to film this video for a little while and I'm going to be talking about the complete collection of Orange the manga. And it is kind of a strange title that almost deterred me from reading it because orange, like are we talking about fruit? Are we talking about the color? Um, what? So whenever I picked up the first bind up of Orange and in English the first three volumes only comes in a bind up, the second has the bind up as well. We'll get to that. Before I had picked up the first bind up of Orange, I hadn't seen any reviews about it and I was just curious from the title, I picked it up in Barnes and Noble. I picked it up in the bookstore and then I read the synopsis on the back and that's what really intrigued me is that it felt relatable, like a relatable manga, and not like a sci-fi fantasy fantastical manga, which I also enjoy, don't get me wrong, but something about this was just speaking to high school me that watched Degrassi. It's about friendship, it's about what you would do, the sacrifices that you would make, or the life choices that you would change to protect your friends, to give them a life that they feel like is worth living. This manga goes deep. It's about self-sacrifice. It's about kind of developing and changing self for the sake of bettering your friends' lives, for giving them a better chance. This, Like I said, this manga goes deep. It deals with a dark topic um, of death and suicide, I will say, just for trigger warning if that's not something that you're ready to read about or that you want to read about. It doesn't like come out and explicitly say it a lot, but the further into the manga collection that you get of Orange, the more deep it goes into those self-destructive thoughts. The first collection mainly is from the friend's point of view and the best friend's so it's kind of sci-fi, um, so it's not completely present in our current existing world. There's a little bit of sci-fi in that it has like an alternate timeline dimension type of thing going on because one of our main characters, I don't know how to say Japanese names correctly, I'm sure, <laughs> because I've never had a Japanese class. Neho is how I say it, starts receiving letters from her future self telling her what to what is going to happen in the present day and what to change to make that day better for her friend and she's very skeptical at first but then those things start happening and she's like wait maybe i should have listened to my future self and so she receives another letter but she is acting out of her own natural instinct and so she wants to do what's opposite of the letter from her natural instinct and she has to fight those natural instincts of just being reserved um, and self-enclosed and wanting to help everybody else instead of trying to be present with her and that one friend. Um, she just wants to be everything for everybody instead of trying to be just what that one individual needs her to be basically. I'll read you the synopsis off the back from the first find up. It says, a plea from the future, one day, it doesn't even say that. I don't even know how to read. Thanks for being here, everybody. On the day that Neho begins 11th grade, she receives a letter from herself 10 years in the future. At first, she writes it off as a prank, but as the letter's predictions come true, one by one, Neho realizes that that letter might be the real deal. Her future self tells Neho that a new transfer student, a boy, it doesn't say it like that, a boy named Kakeru, will soon join her class. The letter begs Neho to watch over him, saying that only Neho can save Kakaru from a terrible future. Who is this mystery boy? And can Neho save him from his destiny? The heart-wrenching sci-fi romance that has over 1 million copies printed in Japan. And I honestly hope that this blows up in the US too because it's so good, it's so good. If you want to read manga, read this one. Read this one, please. There's so many popular ones, um, and they're popular for good reason. But you girlies out there, you're probably going to enjoy this. If you ever watched Degrassi, you're going to enjoy this. If you ever enjoyed any type of high school set teledrama, and you've never read manga before, <laughs> read this. Or if you like K-drama, I'm sure that you'll like this. The only K-drama that I've technically watched is Squid Game. I kind of want to watch more, especially after reading these. So I picked this up last year, read through it very quickly. The artwork is pretty. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if we're allowed to show manga artwork on YouTube, but like, 
like we're not reading the whole book right but just in some of the chapters ah, the characters eyes are always captured so well in this manga series I'm gonna flip too far in the future for you but like ah, I just love it's so cute so it's a group of six different individuals three girls three boys how convenient right um don't worry not everybody couples up it's not like that but they're just best friends and then the new student comes and they're like hey you vibe with us come be our friend you're not rude you're not mean you're chill you seem like it we don't know you yet come hang out with us and they do start hanging out more and more and more and they really just like bring this new kid under their wing he just is struggling with a lot though the new kid and they don't see it at first because they're they have their own self-involved things they're in high school they're not noticing these things you know right away i feel like this not only this one but once you get through all of them eh. <laughs> i almost dropped them once you get through all of them it really gives you a perspective about your own self in high school what you thought what you thought about yourself what you thought about others and the lack of point of view just from not having enough life experience um the lack of pov that you didn't have for what other people were experiencing around you because i mean being a teenager is hard trying to grow into and figure out who you are is hard in that time of a life and so you are a little self-centered but it's not necessarily bad you're just trying to figure out who you are what you like what you don't like the type of person that you want to be the type of person that you want to become but then whenever some of these characters start getting a pov from their future self and they start realizing like wait i have a friend that's struggling and i missed all of it because i was either just like pushing it aside because it felt not important or i just i just didn't know because i wasn't paying that much attention and i was only looking at the mask that was being worn but it opens that up and they start seeing each other for who they fully are and they start loving each other as friends just so much more deeply and just create that lifelong bond that would have otherwise fallen apart i'm sure that we have all had friend friendships that have fallen apart or friends from high school you know that were best friends or they maybe still are best friends but just that close-knitness has maybe just not lasted as much as you wanted it to. But gosh, the perspective in these, this author, I just, can you write all the manga, please? Ichigo Takano, I'm sure I'm saying your name wrong, but I'll be forever grateful. I love this. So I don't, I don't wanna go into spoilers in this. Like I said, there are some of those darker elements about inner and mental things that are going on but yeah picked up the first one last year loved it a couple months later i picked up the second collection just whenever i felt like i had that available time to read through it amongst all the other things that i was reading and then i read future the smaller volume here and i was done i finished all of the collection of orange the manga and then just a month ago or so <laughs> matt and i were in barnes and noble and this is on the shelf and i don't know why i always like graze by graze by these in the manga section whenever i'm there just because i like to admire them i guess because it's my favorite and then i see this on the shelf and i squeal matt's like no calm calm down <laughs> it's gonna be okay it's like there's another one and at the very end of this one it kind of made me so sad but it says when you finish this one volume seven is genuinely the last volume <laughs> okay but i believe you it's so good was this necessary to write yes oh my gosh i <laughs> ellie's over here um she wants me to throw her toy i remember what words are this volume has kakaru reading letters from his friends really and it has their joint povs him and an individual friend and kind of what their relationship was like so it was so sweet there were some more apparent straightforward this does more directly address kind of those depressive anxiety thoughts that come with being a teenager being a young adult being unsure about yourself and being present and just being there but i loved it i hope that all of you just from hearing this will be excited to read it gosh um guys and girls alike i read a couple of sentences out of the last volume to you dear one to matt and he's like wow he's like yeah that that hits this is just 
it feels necessary, I would say. It feels necessary if you ever have had a dark time in your life. It feels necessary if you've ever had a dark thought, a dark um, time that you've experienced with a friend and you kind of want to see maybe what that was like from a different perspective or, you know, if you've ever had the thought of, I should have done something different with that friendship, I should have tried harder, I should have this or that, I sh it just feels so necessary because we've all come to a point of growing up or we are currently still growing up. I feel like I'm still growing up and I need to be less self-centered even though I love serving, I love serving people. But there's just always so much more we can give to our friends, right? And be present with them and actually create that intimacy of being vulnerable and being okay with being fully known and wanting to fully know our friends. It will put you in your feels. Um, it definitely will. I just, I can't wait to reread this one day. Not yet. I want to dive into some more manga worlds, but gosh, so good. One thing that I didn't realize until just recently was why are these all different? It's like tan, stark white, white, um, gray. Who, who made this choice? Okay, I'm gonna go to my brother's baby shower. I love manga, yay! Okay, bye friends.